As married women, we have a lot on our plate, but do we sometimes forget to make marriage our greatest priority. My next guest says your husband deserves to be at the tip top of your to-do list. Joining me is licensed marriage, family, and sex therapist, Lara and Brotherson. It's great to see you, my friend. Hey, we're capable of a lot as women. We, we like to pride ourselves in the multitask and in the juggle. Why do we often forget our husbands in the pursuit of these priorities in that ever-chasing to-do list? Yes, well, and as you well know with the new baby, we are the World Wide Web. We've got 59 things on our plate at yes. all times. All these tabs open in our brain. All the tabs open. And one of the taps that isn't usually open in our brain is sex. And that's kind of an important thing to our husbands. And so when we've got so many other things competing for attention, and that's not one of them, it just it's hard to then put our husband in that priority of what he's really and what's really important you for you. You know all too well. We talk about this, and if we even hint at a stereotype, we get the email. So we're not meaning to over stereotype yeah, a gender no. specific um, need, but intimacy typically and typically. statistically is at the top of the list for yeah. the men in our lives. So how can we bridge that gap? Yeah, well, I mean, this is kind of just why you know it's easier to address kind of the, the the general stereotypical situation where where men that is an important thing and men kind of get a little bit more of a shamed for their needs whereas for women our emotional needs kind of get more affirmation and so it's just part of I think for me to balance that a little bit to make them both kind of important and both equal I think that's a fascinating point that as women we need to talk we need to feel loved we need yeah. to be held all of those things and they are affirmed right yeah. as good and worthy yeah and so if a need kind of tips to another topic category it can be treated a little bit differently yes. you see there are some key concepts you want women to keep in mind in pursuit of this kind of priority and the first is that men want to be wanted. Yeah, so I mean this is, so I'm working on my companion book to this book and this is concept number one because men don't want to be loved per se, they want to be wanted. What's the difference? And desired. Okay, okay. Hey, think about it. I mean, if you're, you know, you love your husband, sure. you're doing things for him, you're being nice to him, whatever. I'm doing the laundry. I'm you're doing the laundry. The you're, you're sending him even love notes or whatever, but to be wanted and desired that's a whole different animal because that's a physical, sexual thing. I was teaching, I was guest teaching a class at BYU and I was explaining, teaching this concept and saying, you know, men, primary need for men is they want to be wanted and desired. And this guy in the back raises his hand and he says, okay, Laura, my brain is blowing right now because he says, you know, my wife will talk about just loving me and stuff like that. And in my mind, I'm thinking, that's so lame. And I said, did you just say that out loud? Did you just say lame? Did you lame? just say lame mm -hmm. about love? Yeah. And he says, yes, because you just hit the nail on the head. I don't want to be loved. I want to be wanted. I want her to want me. Do you get that? I yes. mean, it's different, yes, Brooke. Yes, yes. And you touched on this, but men's highest expression of love, you say, mm -hmm. is intimacy. It is. I mean, I, it's kind of the 80-20 rule. There are about 20% of men where that isn't their highest. Okay. But for 80%, and that's kind of why I address the stereotype, sure, sure. is because we're talking to 80% of the men. And it's their highest, it's, it's their, I mean, sex equals love for most men. And so when that is... When that's the the priority for them, and for women, like I said, we're the World Wide Web, and we're not thinking about sex a lot. They've kind of got elevator music playing all the time, and we don't. And so, you know, for us to not, when we don't embrace and develop kind of our own sexuality and enjoy it for our own sake, mm -hmm. then the best we're, the best kind of sex we're having is duty sex, not I want you sex, and that's different. A different, a different type of intimacy. Yeah. Different type. So as we seek out to maybe reprioritize, how can we how can we do that in a way that will enhance our marriage and will strengthen our couple connection? Right, as we try to let them know you are a priority to me. What does that look like day to day? Yeah, I mean, it just you know, just to backtrack. I mean, it's like my client that says to me, Laura, I just I never get to the top of my wife's to do list, which is kind of the topic of our thing. I'm just never a priority to her, and so I, I just I, I'd like to work on things but she just always finishes a project and puts something else on the top of the list. And so for us women, where we've got so many things going on and sex is not usually on the top of our mind, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we kind of have to be a little more intentional about it. We have to kind of say, okay, I'm cutting out something to make time or energy 
for my husband and what's important to him. And if it's not sex, whatever that is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And energy is a huge component energy. of it. It's not just the time, yes. right? You've talked about that a lot over the years. I know you write about it in your book, but it's it's the energy commitment that you're yeah. putting into this relationship. So that he's not getting your leftover mm -hmm. time and energy. Mm -hmm. Your final point, men want to be done. What does this mean? Well, this is kind of a little play on words that's kind of cute. Yeah, careful, I'm, lady. I, no, it's okay, <laughs> okay. But, but you know, to for women, for men to be on the, the top of their to do our to do list, that's uh -huh. what they want. Uh -huh. But to be done is a different kind of lovemaking. It's not just okay, let's have sex, but it's you're actively pursuing and initiating and wanting him. So back to point number one, men want to be wanted. So it's it's one thing to say, okay, yeah, we can have sex, fine, or, hurry, are you done yet? Versus, let, I, I want to, I want to connect with you. That's what we're looking for. I was talking to a client about this, and he just said to me, Laura, I would walk through fire for that. You know, it's important. For that vibe, that for feeling that, that my feeling wife wants me in that way. Wants me, and yeah. For sure. All right, Lara talks about this stuff all, do, all day. She does it respectfully, right? <laughs> and professionally, but all of us are a little red in the face as we listen. But it is an important component to marriage and to that intimate connection. So we appreciate you bringing the conversation to the forefront. Yes. You have a fun event that you're working yes. toward that you want couples to know about. Yeah, so, you know, it's Valentine's and we're just getting ready for our next Valentine's Couples Valentine's Cruise, which we do every even years, uh, February. So a year from now, February 2020, perfect Valentine's gift. We're going to go to the Mexican Riviera this time, which is great because it's on the West Coast and it's easier for people to get on their flights sure. for those of us around here. Okay, we so can look at strengthening marriage.com. Super fun. Strengthening marriage.com on our cruise page and find out a lot more about it. All right, Laura, thank okay. you so much.